I really like food and I don't know if there's a heaven or not. So with that in mind, I wrote this. It's called Heaven Food. What's the food like in heaven? If all well-behaved living things that die go to heaven, can there be meat up there? Do people imagine eating nice bits of meat in heaven? You know, the bits with a tiny bit of burnt on the cliff face of fat, sitting at a solid, square-legged, without wobble table, eating a steak with a smooth, heavy, shining fork and a deep, dark brown, wooden-handled steak knife. Has the cow that the steak came from died and gone to heaven only to be killed again? Do they kill dead cows up there so we can eat meat and really be in total heaven? What about the sandwiches? Are there crumbs in heaven? Can you get lure pack? Is it complimentary? Do you still have to peel oranges? Do apples have cores? Or are they all apple? Can you eat right through an apple from one side to the other? Can you eat an apple until it is gone? Where do apples go when they die? Do baked beans come in tins? Or do they float into your open mouth in a kind of horizontal, unfastened necklace line of warm, non-drip, perfectly cooked baked beans? Where do I go to get my food when I arrive? I am probably going to need to do a big shop. Or will all my cupboards be full? Who will have put my cupboards up for me? Do they have cupboards in heaven? Does God put the cupboards up in heaven? All the chickens will be running around, laughing and kissing, instead of lying dead and refrigerated in the supermarkets. Do people kill chickens in heaven? Maybe the chickens kill themselves for us and then roll around in flour an egg and breadcrumbs and then maybe repeat the process depending on the crispiness that they want to achieve. Maybe the chickens get to go up to the next level of heaven, the heaven of heaven, the penthouse suite of heaven. If you have a fly in your kitchen in heaven and you want to get rid of it, what do you do? You have both been accepted into the kingdom of heaven. When I was younger, I got drunk a lot and snogged a lot of boys. Spin the bottle was never really a surprise when we got the hang of the slow pretend to throw it turn, mathematically calculating the angle perfectly to land on who we wanted. Every one of us agreed that Miles had eaten Doritos before the game. Cool original flavour. The taste of each tongue was like melted cheese. We laughed for weeks about it.